All right, and we are back here. What it do, what it is, what it is, what it do. It's Lamar KX, and I am back here with you. So what's up, you guys? Today is the day after the mountain ride. If you guys seen the last video, I was in the mountains, had a great time. Shout out to COYZ, and I'm gonna call old boy Big 400. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Big dude, and he rides a 400, so we calling him Big 400. You know what I'm saying? So anywho, <clears throat> they noticed yesterday my chain was like really, really slack. So today I went and got some tools, and I was gonna fix it. And I'm gonna tell y'all I did this, but first, the first, first things first, what you guys wanna look for, I had a lot of slack in between here. So I could put four fingers in between the chain guard, and you want your hand right here, and it should be able to get three fingers. See how I got three? I can't even, I really gotta force that four. So yeah, that's three fingers, that's how you should want it. And I learned as well, you need to match everything up on both sides with the line. Hope I'm not blinding y'all, but you measure it with that line. And you need two screws to unscrew this. Okay, I am going to go over some things with you that you guys need to know. So this is gonna be the how to tighten your chain video for Kawasaki KX250. Cause yeah, I just did it. I haven't finished tightening it back up, but I'm about to in a second. And I'm gonna tell you some things you guys are gonna need. First things first, you're gonna need your torque wrench. I definitely highly recommend a torque wrench. And the reason you're gonna need a torque wrench, that's because you're gonna need it for the rear axle nut. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey, what's the rear axle nut? The rear axle nut is this right here. The whole big thing right here, that big little circle, that's your rear axle nut. I recommend a torque wrench for that because they're going to tell you what to set it to. Next thing next, you need to know what something else is. You're going to need to adjust with your chain, and that will be your adjust bolt. And your adjust bolt is this right here. And you're going to need one of these tools right here. And I will recommend a 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter. So, so far, you got your rear axle nut. Then you have your adjusting bolt. And then you got your lock nut. Your lock nut is what I'm about to lock in just a second and keep it in place, which is right here. Uh, 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 uh. That's your lock nut. Next are your markers. And this is how you're gonna know they're even on both sides. Your markers are pretty easy to identify. All right. Those are your lines. They call those your markers. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you your notch. You're not, and that's right here. I should think that holds your axle on that. So yeah, kind of want to make sure that's kind of even on both sides. And we're about to tighten this back up. And we're going to see how this rides, man. If I fuck this up, guys, it's been a good one. But hopefully I didn't. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Lamar KX and we are back here. So I got everything back tight, but it's too tight. Look, I can't even get three fingers in between. So I'm going to loosen it a little bit. And uh, yeah, hopefully that does the trick. So I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, Lamar KX and we are back here. All right, remember, this is where you want three fingers behind. Remember earlier, I couldn't really get three fingers, but we'll do this. Uh-uh. Uh. Uh, uh good. Uh, uh, uh. I really can't get my whole knuckles through there because I got some pretty big fingers, but look, check this out. They say as long as they go forward pretty smooth and back pretty smooth. And the slack ain't that much. And look, I think that's pretty good. And they said probably like two inches from what I read in that book. Let me double check that book. They said two inches. Oh, oh here it is right here. Oh, yeah. It's a picture. Here it is. You want it two to 2.3 inches. So we're going to get a tape measure and check. My wife told me she was just laughing at the neighbor. I thought the neighbor gave her some problems. I about to go outside and go all the way to jail. Cause like I said, them some bitch ass wife. I ain't wanna waste my future. But say something to my wife on like, nigga, and it's it's up for you, nigga. I'm I'm whooping ass, taking names. But yeah, y'all see what it is. That's three. That's three inches right there. And the way they told you to do it as well. I'm gonna see if I can. I don't know how I'm gonna hold this. Shit. I probably should have put my own. So you take it like this. Shit. No, that's too close. Uh. And basically, let me go off the wall my hands. And you basically gotta pull it up to the two inch mark. Oh, but if it go like two inches and some change, and that's pretty much two inches and change. Look at that looks like. If they go two inches and change, that's pretty much good. But we're about to crank her up, ride her, and see how she does. So yeah, and we're gonna go get this cigar. I'm about to smoke, so that gives us more reason to ride. So yeah, you guys, that is how you change or tighten your dirt bike chain to your dirt bike or your Kawasaki KX250 to be exact. We're gonna run back over things for you really quick because it's gonna be its own video within itself. So first, I want to show you guys your rear axle nut. That's this right here. 
You don't need that. Then I want to show you your adjusting bolt. It's this right here. I mean, not my bad. It's this little one right here. Next comes down the line is your lock nut. This is your lock nut. You're going to need that. You're going to need two little wrench things for that, and I'll show you that in a minute. Then your markers. This is how you keep up with where your other thing is, which is right here. Those little lines right there. And then last but not least, you have your notches. And your notches like right here. These little things right here. And the two sizes you need for your, for your stuff, for your adjusting bolt and your lock nut, you're going to need 12 millimeter and 10 millimeter. My, my oh, sorry. oh, no, you're fine. Why feet? But no, it's the end of the video anyway. All right, you guys, watch you about to make some chicken nuggets. We're going to keep this in the video. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button. We're going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace. But, uh, do you, do you want some? Yeah, I'm about to smoke and test ride it to the gas. All right, yo, what's good? What it do, what it is, what it is, what it do. It's Lamar KX. I'm back here with you. I forgot one more thing to do with the chain. We gotta... And uh, we're going to do an oil change pretty soon on here. With the bike. What oil change is coming next? And we changed the oil. I'm about to go ahead and order an air twin filter. I mean, a twin air filter since I went through the creek. And I'm going to wash that one because it looks kind of brown inside. So, yeah. Those some of the next things we got going, but I'm glad I tightened my chain. You know, it looks good, man. And pretty soon I'm gonna order me a new tire when I move, cause that tire about wore out. So I'm gonna try to keep it off the street as much as possible. But y'all know we gotta go test drive this. So yeah, you already know what it is. And it should be about time for uh, a oil change, cause I actually been keeping up with it. Yo, I've been riding this bitch now. I got four. Is that an eight or so? I'm not. I can't tell. I think that's a six. Oh shit.